so the custom servers are here and today we're going to look through all of the different d options you can have so the way to access these is from the main screen just go to enter custom server and this will show you all the servers available and then you can go and create server so first thing is server name so we'll just say uh, focused off why not openness so you can change to private or open you can set max amount of players online you can give yourself a little slogan that's quite cool so you can also choose the scenario type so for example you have mana bus raid zone or way of winter so if you're wanting to play raid zone without having to worry about those pesky hackers you can have your own server locked down so for example we're just going to go mana bus here uh, you can choose which phase you start at so you can go Mist, Tame, Stardust, or Manibus. Uh, you can change the auto phase switching. So we'll just say yes to that one. Here you can have a parameter template. So if you just want to quickly get started, you can choose one of these three options. You can have a chill PVE server, and it'll automatically change some of the settings. So morph deviation drop rate 50%, unlock all teleport towers, yes, yes. Combat stats, three times HP, three times damage, five times elite damage, etc. All the way up to doomsday survival, so five times HP for the enemies, uh, very fast movement speeds, uh, very far aggro ranges. So this is going to be like harder, harder, like a lot harder. Uh, so if we just put chill for this one, and then you can enable detailed version of the main story. So if you want to play through the story again, you can. Uh, then you can go into more detail in the world parameters here. So it says hunting and gathering yields multiplier. So you can have it so you get better yields from certain things. So animals and crops, for example. Now multiplier for logging and mining. So again, you can adjust how much stuff you get. Uh, crate material gathering. No parameters change click edit I okay, guess so crafting materials gunpowder and energy links you can set those to be higher uh, deviations 100% capture rate you can say yes just instantly capture any deviant no problem um, you can change the drop rate to morph deviations up to a hundred percent so you can set that to however you want uh, initial deviant energy ratings of the appear so you can you can make every single deviation a five five Every single deviation that drops will be a 5-5 five five if you choose it to. Uh, map, unlock all of the map, yes. Unlock all teleportation powers, yes. And remove teleport cooldown, yes. So they're really cool things. So combat parameters, you can set the HP multiplier to up to 10x. And this is for normals, elites, alphas, bosses, everything. Uh, also the damage multiplier can go up to 10x. Uh, you can change their movement speeds so they can either be slow moderate or very fast and again this can be based on what type of enemy it is uh, change the aggro ranges and the alert sensitivities uh, if you're going to survive on building uh, you, can have, you can have no sanity loss if you want no energy loss no hunger or thirst no load capacity um, you can change the, you can have it up to 99 times experience gain if you so wish uh, you can choose how many territories you can have as well so this is your initial territory count uh, consume materials and building so if you just want if you just want the best buildings you can just have no consuming no consuming at all so you can just build as much as you want, which I think is amazing. I definitely, I'm definitely going to go with that because building's like a lot of fun and this will just let you build whatever you want. And it's great. Uh, death drop. So you can have no drops, normal drops or all drops. And you've got tech ability, initial memetic points. So you can um, have as many as you want. You can just start with unlock all memetics, all blueprints. Fully unlock your cradle from the start and slots. No crafting cost. Instant crafting and item crafting multiplier. So you'll be able to say, okay, activators, you'll get 10 yield instead of just crafting one. So this 
this is just a quick rundown of all the different things and then you just go confirm to create server confirm to create server and character yes basic settings must be fully configured what did I not configure oh did I not put a uh, maximum online players 40 let's say 40 Uh, character, or as you go to scenario type, uh, character deletion. That's it. So after 14 days of inactivity, character will be deleted. So we go to come, come to create server. Yes. Under construction. Server created successfully. Setup will complete automatically. You do not need to stay on this page. Thanks for your patience. So if you want to join my private server, just leave a message down below. I will try and get as many people as I can. Um, and yeah, don't forget, follow, subscribe, like, all that really cool stuff and um construction complete i'll see you soon